Bars from Milwaukee to Racine and then in between are preparing for St. Patrick's Day. As Fox 6's Bill Miston explains, some are hoping for a good turnout while others are just happy to be open. He joins us live at Moe's Irish Pub in downtown Milwaukee with that story. Good evening, Bill. Good evening, Gabrielle. It was nearly a year ago that Moe's Irish Pub here in downtown Milwaukee closed its doors. One day before St. Patrick's Day. Well, it's open, opening this week, but it does have plans to put some self-imposed party restrictions in place ahead of the St. Patrick's Day festivities. And safety top of mind for bars like Moe's and others as they prepare for days and days of festivities. If walls could talk, those in Moe's Irish Pub in downtown Milwaukee wouldn't have much to say. It's been a wild year. The bar closed for nearly a year. Now, as patrons belly up to the main bar, the other two in the building being prepped for several days of St. Patrick's Day festivities starting next weekend. Because of our safety plan, we are at full capacity, although we took it upon ourselves to limit it. So we have 400 per day. Moe's offering $20 VIP packages ahead of three days of celebration, which includes masks, but free to all temperature checks and hand sanitizer. Very big deal. And that's why we're trying to uh, make it as safe socially distanced as possible. In Racine, streets would normally feature a parade. With that canceled, a pub crawl at 17 places, including Peppy's on 6th. I'm really looking forward to Patty's Day, getting people down here to see that it's not as bad as people think it is or that it's made out to be. Joe Madison and his wife have owned Peppy's for 10 years. The last year, though, he's seen business drop by 60 percent. Madison says he's fortunate he has the space to spread people out. While not in opposition to the pub crawl, the Racine Public Health Department urging patrons to consider the risks, saying just because you can doesn't mean you should. Madison hoping for a good showing. Just to check out the downtown and see that people are still here, that people are still you know, surviving and, and trying to make it work, yeah. And Gabrielle, in talking to Joe Madison, he says that, you know, he's hoping that some sort of normalcy will return as more and more people get vaccinated and hopefully bringing this pandemic under control. But he says he thinks there's some things that are going to stick around, like, you know, menus might be going away. QR codes, like here at Moe's Irish Pub, allowing you to scan that and use your own uh, cell phone to look at a menu the pandemic changing the way a lot of businesses do work, and we might see some of that stick around, too. Reporting live in Milwaukee tonight, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Bill, thank you.